I want to talk about a scene from The Suicide Squad, the new one. It's kind of a big part of the second act reveal, so spoilers if you haven't seen the movie. I'm about to spoil one of the big reveals. The scene I'm talking about is where two members of the Suicide Squad, Rick Flagg and Ratcatcher, learn that super creep The Thinker has been torturing political prisoners using an alien that had been captured by the American military. It reminded me of a scene from a comic book, but not from any of the Suicide Squad comics, from a series called The Invisibles. The Invisibles is a comic book series created and written by Grant Morrison, drawn by a whole team of different artists, though the issues I'll be referencing were drawn by Phil Jimenez, plus a cover by Brian Boland. The series was published by Vertigo Comics throughout the 1990s. In The Invisibles, Volume 2, Issues 2 through 4, The Invisibles, a covert organization battling against social and psychic oppression, they invade a top-secret, highly advanced underground American military base outside of Dulce, New Mexico. Eventually, two Invisibles, King Mob and Jolly Roger, they make it all the way down to the lowest levels where things get really weird. Level 6 of the base is known as Nightmare Hall, and this is where prisoners are being tortured, seemingly having their bodies mutated and grafted with animal parts. There's an implication that this is being done with technology which was adapted from an alien creature, possibly some sort of trans-dimensional extension of God, which the US military had captured years earlier. In issue 4 of the comic, as well as on the cover of issue number two, we get these shots of men in hazmat suits transporting the alien god creature in a cage. Let's put some of these scenes side by side on the screen and see exactly what this has to do with the Suicide Squad. Basically, we have a scene where two insurgents are shocked to discover an illegal US affiliated lab full of people being mutilated in bizarre ways for the purpose of scientific inquiry. And then we get footage of an alien creature being transported by crate or cage by US officials in hazmat suits. So, what does it all mean? My theory is that somebody involved in the production of the Suicide Squad was a fan of the Invisibles and somehow snuck in a reference. There's an added interesting level to all this, as the secret military base from the Invisibles is based off a pre-existing conspiracy theory which started in the late 1970s. The theory is that there is a secret underground military base outside of the town of Dulce, New Mexico, where the government is working with extraterrestrials to experiment on human prisoners, doing medical tests that involve torture and gene splicing, making people half alien, that kind of stuff. In the comic book, The Invisibles, writer Grant Morrison was playing with that pre-existing conspiracy theory, pretending it was all real, and sending their characters down into the heart of it, kind of like Mulder and Scully. And what was that thing in the cage? In The Suicide Squad, it's the JLA villain Starro, but in The Invisibles, it's something else. It gets called an alien and a UFO, but there's also a suggestion that it's actually an aspect of God, like God who created the universe, which has fallen into our state of reality and become trapped on Earth. Once human scientists begin to dissect it, things start going bad everywhere all at once. To learn more about all this, I'd recommend reading The Invisibles. It's a really good comic. And if you do read it, I'd recommend checking out the King Mobcast, a podcast which goes through the Invisibles issue by issue, analyzing the series and discussing its many references and implications. Anyway, I'm Hank, and this has been a Death by Media Man video. Mostly we do lots of weird little short stories and stuff, but sometimes I do a little piece of media analysis like this, especially when I notice Invisibles references existing in other parts of the media landscape. Thanks for listening. Share, like, and subscribe and all that. And I don't know, just have a wonderful day, you weirdos.